This video was brought to you by Marcus Biel, Elbil Mac, a battery planner, stolen by Camp Power and Biel Componente. Yo, what's up? We are now at Oslo Spectrum at the Xi conference. This is a bit weird. Xpeng is represented here. This is uh, a conference where you have lots of women, actually. I can show you. If you do a quick sweep here, you see that normally, you know, in my channel, we have 97% men. But in this conference, there are a lot of women here. So maybe Xpeng wants to uh, try to, you know, make this appealing to women. I'm not sure, but I'm not going to go too much into that. But Okay, first of all, the color. This is Xpeng G6 and it is, it doesn't look like it, but it is orange. So I'm going to do a quick review. Uh, first impression, this is a Chinese car, but it is a production car. It has been sold already in China. So um, yeah, first, let's see. Does this resemble a Model Y in size and shape? Kind of, ish. And then, yeah, let's go on this side. I'm going to do a quick sweep. We still have the, the iconic X-Bang front and the lights. And then stuff that you guys want to know. Do we have a headlight washer? Uh, no. Wait, LiDAR? Oh, they put the LiDAR down here, it seems like. Wonder how much exposed that is for damaging. But okay. Um, the nozzles are there. Uh, fixed here, not on the wiper arm. Two nozzles. And then I will show you the, the, the front or the lack of front. So let's see, uh, two times there. So under the hood, looks like this. So you see that uh, the hood is not that long, which should mean more space for the for passengers and for, for luggage. So yeah, here's a little uh, dampening mat, but not much to see here. But this is weird. There's a lid to access the other lid for the washer fluid. The washer fluid at least is on a, on a nice position, but um, what is even the point of this lid? I would throw it away if I own this car. <laughs> is it for soundproofing? Nah, I don't think so. Okay, let me see. I'm supposed to just slam it. I'm not sure if that's the right way to do it. Yeah, okay, whatever. Um, so, let's start. Let's do with the external first. Uh, here you see, this is what it looks like on this side. And then we have the back. Nice look. Oh, sorry. Oh, focus there. And the charge port is on the right side. They're trying to be like Germans. But I mentioned this is a Chinese car. So you see you have the, the inverter type 2 here. But this is not what you're going to get in uh, Europe. And then this is the GPT port. So, wait, can I just close it like this? Oh, oh nice. Nice. Let me see. Um, yeah, the button, just like that. So it's located there. Will this cause any schmutz or any... I don't feel any uh, rubber seal here. No rubber seal there. So this would be interesting if they will update this for the European version or not. Otherwise, there might be some moisture or some ice in here. Okay. And then let's uh, start in the back also. Do the external stuff. Camera is there. Button is there where you expect it to be. And this is, uh, yeah, okay, let me do the spec. Well, I have to, forgot to show you. This is G6 Performance. Also, well, like you've seen in the other lineup, so it comes in rear wheel drive with 66 kilowatt hour. And I don't remember the horsepower, but uh, also all wheel drive version will then have the big battery, 87 kilowatt hour with uh, two, no, 472 horsepower, zero to 100 in uh, 4.2, no, 4.1 seconds. So that's the only options you get, really. Um, and then, okay, let me look here. And then also you can get with the tow hitch, 1,000, I think it was 1,500 kilograms. It also takes 75 kilograms on the roof, roof rack. Wow, look at this trunk, whoa. Okay, sorry for the light condition. It's kind of dim here in the, in the expo area, but this is a big trunk, quite deep. So we have light there, we have 12 volt outlet there. Trying to figure out what all this stuff is. I'm missing some hooks here. Yeah, I think Chinese people, they don't really secure cargo in the trunk. <laughs> so I'm missing the hooks there. Here we seem to have, oh, I see. We seem to have the thing for the, the partial shelf, but I can see that the seat here can be adjusted. Wait, wait, I have to check that out in front. But okay, 
and then we have the subwoofer on this side. Hmm, interesting. Normally the subwoofer would be on that side for some reason. I'm not sure why. Maybe it's because it's the opposite corner where the driver is. And then here we have a lid. We can take out this lid and you see it frees up some more space. But since this is rear wheel drive, there is some, uh, some drivetrain stuff here. But this, the, the well here is not that deep, but at least you can have some items there, whether it's cable or maybe some extra luggage. But yeah, very impressive uh, the trunk, how big it is. And then let's move over to the back. Yeah, sorry man. Oh, I mean, the light conditions on these events, they are quite dim or very, very limited. It would be better if the car was over there or over there with pole stories, but okay. We just have to deal with this. Um, I think it is so... Uh, and we just happen to also get a black car and black interior. So I have to use the, the camera, uh, sorry, the phone here to try to light up the interior slightly. We have two USB-C there. Is that it? Nothing else? Okay. Uh, oh wow, it is so dark here, sorry. So I have to do this manually. Yeah, so we have some... Oh, okay, we can at least put this, uh, the feet under the front seat. But then when it comes to seat height, I actually feel like it is okay. You know, I will always check for this. I, I still, I mean, I need to do the proper measurement, but I feel like the seat height is okay. You're not sitting like this. You're actually sitting in okay position. And then, close the door. What is this? Huh? This is the way you open. Okay, let me see. Wow, it is so dark here. Sorry, man. Here, okay. So, to open the door, you have to do this. Wow! Wow! You know, one thing I noticed when I sat in here is that there is a shit ton of headroom. Sorry for the bad. <laughs> wow, you have plenty of headroom. This is more than a fist of headroom. So even though the glass doesn't go all the way in the back, it almost doesn't matter because you are still in the headroom. Yeah, yeah, they, they, okay, let me see if I can highlight this better. There, you see that um, as long as you sit in a normal position, your head will actually extend into the glass area where you have the most headroom. So that is very nice. This, is, this was a big surprise, how much space you have here. Yeah, uh, the reason why you hear some stuff is, okay, that one is, uh, that window is open. But let me see, let's check something here. Do we have a double glazed window here? No, I'm not sure about the front. I will check that also. And then we do the quick here. We have a center console. Huh? That's it? Here we have cup holders. Okay, as you expect them. But uh, no table here. And also, it doesn't seem to be any ski opening. Maybe they don't have skis in China. But let's check now. There, there was a way to change the angle of the seat. I need to figure out that. Uh, okay, I see. Now we are in the recline position. We have this handle here. When you press that, you can recline more. So now we have to test. Holy macaron. The, the, the comfort level in the recline position is way better. You see here, if I go up now, that's the upright position. But then in the recline position, Oh, you just sink down in the seat. Oh, wow. But what about headroom? Because normally when you have the recline position, it compromises. Yeah, yeah, same here. You get less headroom. Now we are talking about barely a fist, maybe just four fingers. So less headroom, but as long as you are short Asian, like me, 173 centimeter, it is perfect. Let me try. I have to try the other side also. What about this middle seat? Oh, oh, wow. Okay, okay. But then if I go up now, I need to check the, mid the middle seat here. Yeah, you, wow. Even the middle seat, you have over a fist of clearance. Huh? And then because this is pure EV platform, then there is no hump in the middle. And the door handles, they just pop out like this. I have to check also here. Do we have, yeah, at least we have, oh, uh, my bad. Well, I don't know what happened there. Well, how do you stop it from uh, there? Okay. So we have a uh, double glazed window or acoustic glass in the front. And then, yeah, let me show, show you the seats. It just looks dark as usual. I have to try to light up something here. Seems comfy, but I can already see that it doesn't have the craziest side support. So it works for people with big fat ass like me. But it's not a super sporty seat. And this is, like you have shown, it is the already the performance version of this. 
So we have some adjustments here, but uh, where is the lumbar support? Hmm. Okay, let's um, get inside. Do we have soft clothes now that we are at it? Nope, no soft clothes. Okay. There we have sending data to China. Okay, let's uh, take up all the windows. Let's see. Yeah, then it becomes nice and quiet in here. So, um, yeah, we have the, the X-Pang. It's not 100% round steering wheel. That door is slightly open, so we can close it properly. There. So this is also, the, the as you know it, in X-Pang, the user interface. Oh, interesting. These air vents, they are not adjustable here. Same here, you see. So you have to do this in the screen, but this is in Chinese. So I'm not gonna mess around too much, but uh, yeah, HVAC is probably off also. Okay, so I will cover this more, but we at least have an, a horizontal screen and it seems to be wider than the regular 16 by nine. It's more like, I don't know, 21, nine, something like that. So, okay, and then here, ooh, ooh, ooh. do we actually have two charging, oh, sorry. Do we actually have two charging pads? We have one charging pad there. And this must be one of the first cars I've seen that actually has two charging pads and they seem to also be ventilated. Holy crap, you get all this good stuff, man. Cup holders here, can they go deep? No, they can't, okay. And then do we have the bridge design? Okay, there's a small thing there with the USB-C and USB-A and also, Let's see, the bridges always are a little bit tight to show you, but there, what is this? Oh, 12 volt, yeah, 12 volt outlet in the front. And then center console. Let's see, I need to get some, uh, I need to get some interior light here. Not sure how that works. Uh, I think you have to do it in the screen here somewhere. Yeah, you see, I know Chinese. Wait. No, that, that's uh, not bad. Okay, I, I don't know Chinese after all. <laughs> I don't know where the heck the interior light is. I tried to press on the uh, normal places. You expect the light to be. At least we can have this. Um, so how is this? Yeah, it's still a nice big center console. And then let's check also the headroom here. Whoa, now we're talking about almost two fists of headroom. So plenty of headroom, even for the longest people. And then uh, let me just do the regular knocking. Wow, you know, there is just lots of nice soft materials here all over the place. I, 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 I almost cannot find anywhere where you have some hard plastic. So when it comes to price, by the way, um, I think, okay, the price has not been released yet, but I think it's going to be, uh, expand. they will price it slightly below Model Y. So if you know the, the price of Model Y rear-wheel drive or dual motor long range not even performance i bet it would be lower so in norway like um, the the rear wheel drive here should be maybe around 400 ish k nook and then the all wheel drive with the bigger battery should be maybe a little bit over 500 k nook 510 520 that is my guess based on uh yeah <laughs> so other than that let me see how do you adjust the headrest here like that okay what huh what you can actually take off the head. Okay, you can take off the headrest here. Why not? Why not? You know, you can just drive like this if you want to transport some really big items. <laughs> or if you have some headless people you want to uh, carry with you. <laughs> Let me just check here. Okay. Uh huh. But uh, how is. Yeah, yeah. You see, there is no adjustment for uh, for side mirrors. And even. Okay, the. the okay, steering wheel is adjusted here in and out, but uh, side mirrors is adjusted in the screen like uh, everything else but when it comes to seat yeah i can feel it that these are not sporty seats when i sit here I, i'm lacking a little bit of side support so if i drive quite actively i would be tossed around in the in the seat but um, they are at least not too narrow so it depends what you are looking for and when it comes to wheels by the way this car is equipped with 20 inch wheels 255 45 20 i think it's not uh, staggered and an interesting fact is that um, yeah, 255, okay. Is that the range that the x claims is actually based on these 20 inch wheels, not uh, smaller rims. So it means that you could possibly get even more range, but okay.
anyway, that was probably what I had time for. So it was just a quick review. So it looks promising, but by the end of the day, I have to test it. We have to put it through the test on the boxes, 1000 kilometer challenge, charging test. Oh yeah, charging. Even the small ish battery, the 87 kilowatt hour battery can take 290 kilowatt. Wait, was it 280? No, I think it was 280. But yeah, 280 kilowatts, 800 volt architecture. So it, it should also charge like a boss. They claim 20 minute charging time from 10 to 80%. So that, that sounds really promising. And then I also heard it from someone who have driven the car that the comfort, the noise level uh, is not that much lower than on the G9. So that sounds also really promising because I already tried the G9. I did on, on road trip and stuff and it was super wonderful. And it was like the G9, um, how do I describe it? The G9, like, I wonder what is the reason to buy Mercedes or Audi or BMW if you can buy the G9 for way lower price. That means that the G6 should be really affordable but still offer superb comfort. Anyway, I think that's gonna be it for now. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.